Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Doing an ammo test video. I have not done an ammo video in a while and I truly enjoy doing the ammo videos. I need to get some new gel so that I can do some more gel tests, but I'm on a long range kick, a precision and accuracy kick right now. I'm building my 6GT. I'm working my way out, learning the dope and whatnot for long range for the Mammoth Sniper Challenge. And I've got some like results. I made a short about this. This was six shots with the 6GT at 100 yards. And if you take away that one round, that was a quarter MOA. And as it was right, th as it is right there, it's half MOA. And that is really good. The first four shots were through that hole, and the fifth shot was just slightly off. But this was. A different rifle and um, I haven't really announced what that is but definitely accurate but it's not precise um, you know all five rounds are right there but it's not very precise so I'm learning the difference between accuracy and precision uh, ultimately you want to have both but I'm not gonna get precision out of this rifle it's just not built that way so we're gonna use some Norma 55 grain some Hornady Frontier, I think it's 68 grain. Um, full disclosure, I shot this at the range this past weekend. I came home, I went to edit, and the audio was trash. Uh, I can get by with good, uh, with bad video. You cannot get by with bad audio, so I have to scrap it. So I th And I threw the boxes out because I thought I had a great take. But um, I think it was 68 grain. I got it at Bass Pro. I think it was like 16 bucks for the match grade ammo, but you already know from the title, the Hornady Frontier is trash. Just how bad? Well, you have to stick around for a little bit. Um, and then we did PPU, and that was 75 grain. And I started with regular Norma. I was traveling, it's supposed to, uh, the, per the box, it was like 32 something feet per second, 3,200 feet per second, but that was presumably out of a much longer barrel than this. Um, so I'm going to revisit this again. I'm going to use some more 55 grain ammo. I'm going to get a good zero on here. When I added this offset red dot, I had to take this front um, optic ring off. And I think it messed up my zero, or it did mess up my zero a little bit because I was really off on the first shot. So um, another thing that I learned, I was using a standard capacity magazine. And when you have a setup like this on a bag in a bag, a 30 round magazine is just too big. It sits above the bag and um, you just can't get a super stable base without maybe using a light sled or something. So I got a 20 round magazine for zeroing purposes and it is very, very steady. So next time I go out to the range, I'm gonna get an, um, a final zero again and then we're gonna be able to test the match grade ammo is a little bit better. But I did okay for what I was trying to do out of this video. So without further ado, we're gonna head out to the range and I'll show you how it went. Well, there are the speeds of the Norma. I did have 20 rounds exactly. It says 3241. My average speed was 2856. Granted, this is only a 137 or 139 barrel. So, definitely not a precision setup, but you can see the spread is about 130, 135 feet per second. So, we'll go down, see what the results are. A uh, little uh, sneak peek. Not very good. First grouping was high and to the right. Um, when I put the offset red dot on, I think it messed up my zero just a tad. Um, I mean, obviously it did mess up my zero some because this thing was dead nuts on when I first put it on. So I adjusted it a little bit. Better grouping there, a little scattered, and again, a little scattered. So definitely not sub MOA with a 13.9 barrel with FMJ, but we don't really hit we don't shoot precision targets in the Patriot game. So on a silhouette like so, this is good enough, but can it be better? That's what we're gonna find out. Well, I messed up and I forgot to hit start. So we only got 12 out of the 20 shots, but the spread is 110 feet per second, which isn't all too different from the 55 green. And the groupings, from what I could see, not too much different either. Let's go check it out. Well, Schrodinger's cat walks into a bar. 
and doesn't. So these were the Fowler rounds, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, you can almost play connect the dots because there's no, there's no precision to that whatsoever. So Hornady Frontier, I would never, ever buy for the Patriot Games. Is it because the barrel's getting hot? I don't know. Because that's 40 rounds, relatively short period of time. I mean, it's hot out here. I'm not rapid firing, but I am going rather quickly. So, like, we had a couple of good shots, but definitely, definitely no accuracy versus precision. I mean, there's neither right now. I made a short a couple of weeks ago about accuracy versus precision, and my 6GT is accurate and precise. I mean, I had four rounds through the same hole at 100 yards. This rifle is neither, but this is not a precision rifle. This is a totally different application than precision. So as of right now, there is no reason to buy match grade ammo for this application, but we're gonna shoot that PPU and see how it does. Well, we were doing real well until the end. Uh, the spread was only about 40 or 50 feet per second, but still better than the other three, traveling really slow for 223, but it is 75 grain, so the spread is about 80 feet per second. So considerably better loading, better standard deviation than the other two. How will that translate downrange? It was better. So the PPU was definitely better. This first Fowler was um, one, two, three, four, five. And then this one was, I think, one, two, three, four, five. And then this one, one, two, three, four. I don't, I don't remember where that one was, but like that's a decent grouping. And that's a decent grouping. And then that's a decent grouping. So the PPU was surprisingly good, but again, those groupings are not bad either when you're aiming at those. Those groupings are bad when you're aiming at something that size. Again, not a precision rifle, not a precision setup, not a precision tournament, tournament or competition. But having spending twice as much on ammo to get those kind of results for something where you're not shooting precise kind of just validates what I've been doing all along. Now, granted, that Hornady Frontier, that was terrible. That's terrible match grade ammo. And I don't even think you can really call it match grade ammo, but I think the general consensus out in the shooter's world is that Hornady Frontier is generally trash. So we got Norma, that was pretty good. And then the PPU, that was pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna continue to do is shoot 55 grain full metal jacket because I don't see any advantage to spending extra money for slightly better groupings when we're aiming at bigger targets. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. So before I end this video, I don't know if I cut it out or if it was still in there, but I said, you know, I don't think it's worth it to spend the extra money on the ammunition, the, the match grade ammo. And I've had a couple of days to think about it. And I, I don't know if that's entirely true. Um, with that PPU traveling so much slower, uh, the recoil is definitely a lot less. It, it just felt more controlled than that 55 grain. So uh, aside from the groupings, because I don't need groupings in the Patriot games. Yes, we're starting to shoot smaller targets on paper, but they're not at far distances. We're not trying to shoot a you know, four inch square at two or 300 yards. We're shooting like a triangle that's like this big at maybe 25 yards because we're trying to get a an accurate shot, not necessarily a precise shot, but we're definitely doing some smaller target shooting. But having that decreased recoil will help with the follow-up shot. So I actually have this for the next video, and this is Hornady Black 75 grain Boattail hollow point. And it says it's traveling at 2790 feet per second, presumably, definitely out of a longer barrel than this. So. Will this be traveling at 2790? Probably not. This will probably be traveling in that 24 to 2500 feet per second range. And using this, will it be better on those shots where I'm freehand 
and breathing heavy. So I've got two boxes of this. I'm going to do another video just like this one with some Hornady ELDM 75 grain and we'll see what the groupings are with that. We'll see what the groupings are with this, but then I'm going to recreate a um, stage from the Patriot Games and get myself really tired, breathing heavy, and see if this is accurate on a smaller paper target while I'm under those conditions. So stay tuned for the next video, the next ammo test. That's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.